Hello, fellow humans. Um, yeah, I have, as you can see, built a Stargate in my bedroom. Uh, this, well, obviously it's not like a real Stargate. This is virtual reality, hence I don't have any hands. Um, but this is my actual bedroom. This is, if you can hear that, um, this is actually aligned with my real room in the real world. So um, it's about as close to my bedroom as I will get with a Stargate, I reckon. Uh, yeah, so this is actually a small side project, which I started in Unreal around March. Yeah, it was around March, back when I only had an Oculus DK2. Um, this little thing right here, which has been mostly burnt and melted into my desk. Um, uh, at the time I was experimenting with photogrammetry and I did this scan of my room, which if you have a VR headset, you'll actually find it on the Steam Destinations app uh, called White Heart House. So you can wander through my bedroom and uh, and then I will quiz you on it, and I will ask you, where did I put my passport? And where's the blue tack? Things like that. But yeah, so after I got my Vive, I never actually got around to finishing this project um, and actually making it work with room scale, which obviously it was designed for. At the time, I kind of had a little camera for the Oculus DK2 tracking me from that window there, and I had about three feet of space during which I could be like, whoa, this is almost like room scale. Um, but like every time I mention it, people are like, oh, that sounds really cool. I want to try that. I want to see what that looks like. Um, now that Unreal 4.13 has come out, I figured I should actually get around to finishing this finally, because Unreal 4.13, as it happens, has some really, really nice features, including VR presets, which kind of make the whole room scale thing a lot easier. And it has fluid simulation, which is exactly what you need for a Stargate. So let's dial this lovely, beautiful thing. Um, to dial it, you kind of spin your thumb around the touchpad, and then you press the big green DHT button to lock that chevron into place. Uh, I I tried to research Stargate dialing sequences, and best as I can tell, they seem to be different every time. Probably some hardcore Stargate fans would be able to correct me on this, uh, but like sometimes you align the chevrons with the clamps, sometimes it's just the top chevron which picks out the clamp which is being dialed, and then that kind of goes up and down, and then the the clamps kind of light up on their ends. Sometimes, like, you just... these things light up, um, and of course you've got all the weird new Stargates and the newer series, so it's just, I kind of went with something which kind of looks cool and makes sense. I can't remember if this is actually an amalgamation of different dialing sequences or if this is a canonical one, but here basically you pick out chevron on this thing and then the clamps light up in order. Uh, yeah. So let's pick a nice symbol, that one. Um, oh, I should actually remember to step out of the way, since I do actually have a coercion here now. I didn't for a long time. And... Kawoosh! It works! I have a Stargate in my room. Uh, with a really nicely animated event horizon, which has water physics! This is way too much fun. Um, yeah, I know the kawoosh isn't particularly accurate. I kind of have an idea of how to do it. A little bit more like the show. Um, I'm thinking could do like a water simulation in Houdini and since Unreal 4.13 has a Lembic import, might be able to get like a whole, I don't know, like 90 frames of a fluid sim just exported out as mesh data. But yeah, it's a working Stargate. Uh, <laughs> first time I ever did this. This was actually pretty genuinely terrifying. Um, it's not as terrifying now that I've done a lot more room scale VR, but if you're doing this for the first time, it's pretty freaky. 
just putting your arms through it and then you go and have your little Daniel Jackson moment and you're like, oh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll do this. Uh, get wonderful 90s CGI graphics wormhole. Um, <laughs> this might look like really, really terrible Unreal shaders, but like this is pretty, pretty much on par with the actual effect. Like it was really this bad. Uh, need some Doctor Who music in there. And we have arrived and we have arrived on Planet Castle. This is literally just just ruins of castles as far as the eye can see. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do with the destination. So this is actually a bunch of Creative Commons models from Sketchfab. Uh, the ice, uh, the arches are cloisters two by Paul, and the castle is Khrushchev Castle by Romir. And while I'm doing attributions, I should also point out that the Stargate um, also isn't mine. This is based on a CAD model, which I got off of GrabCAD, um, which was, oh god, I, um, I have to confess I do not remember the Hungarian name now, but it is in the description below, and I am eternally grateful to you, dude, for putting this up, because this is an awesome Stargate model. It is insanely detailed. Like, <laughs> it took a lot of poly reduction to get this into, like, a sort of a game asset state, but, like, oh my god, this is it's pretty incredible. Lots of detail. So, yeah, um, I don't actually want to be stuck on Planet Castle for that much longer, so I'm just going to go back. Uh, I remember to dodge the Kawoosh. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. I'm good. And, yeah, cue Doctor Who music again as we return back to my room. I always feel like, I don't know why, this feels like you should be dancing when you're in here. I, I wonder if that's what SG-1 do, like, when they dematerialize and travel through the wormholes, they're just practicing their dance moves. Need to put music in here. Like a disco remix of the Doctor Who theme. And we're back. Uh, unfortunately, the room scale messes up on the journey back. But more or less, we're in my room. It's just a little bit less lined up now. Yeah, really not lined up. And I have chaperone turned off, so I'm probably going to walk into something. Um, but yeah, this is the Stargate that I built in my bedroom. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this yet, because um, it contains a bunch of stuff which I didn't make, and it obviously contains copyrighted material. Um, I'm probably going to basically try and use this as a sort of a learning resource. I'll put up some stuff on my blog about how this whole thing works and how to set it up. It's relatively straightforward. Um, the most trouble I've really had was actually figuring out how to align it, how to align my room scan to my room. Uh, this is a model created out of like some hundred or so photos composited in Azure Soft Photo Scan, which is kind of the uh, cheapest decent photogrammetry software. And yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to do it by hand, and even doing it by hand is pretty hard. So first thing I tried to do is I replicated the Unreal VR editor kind of grip to scale and rotate the world thing. So you can do this. And you can just be like, I am the lord of all the cosmos. I, I am the master of the dark and the light, basically. Look, so many castles. This is a really awesome castle. Like, someone needs to do, like, I don't know, Warhammer tabletop campaigns with photogrammetric castles, because that would be awesome. You can just tile a bunch of these things together. Uh, but yeah. Uh, here, stuck between the celestial spheres. Floating in nothingness in, is my room. But, um, yeah. So, 
trying to line it up this way is kind of quite hard. It's very imprecise, but it does make you feel like God. So if I sound particularly bombastic, it's because working on this just gives me delusions of grandeur and it will give it to you too. I think that's like a, that should be a known psychological risk for VR developers. Um, but yeah, so what I have actually done now is you have these little blue and red balls which you can place with the controller, which are usually a little bit bigger than that. And what it does is if you place like uh, two blue balls and two red balls, then you press the menu button on the controller, it will actually try and align the blue balls to the red balls. Um, as in, like, it'll transform the world so that I put two blue balls on the sides of this poster. I put, like, two red balls here, like, that's a big part. The top of the poster will now magically be between these two red balls. So you can do with that is you can pick out, like, two points in the room and mark them up on the model. And then you go in, like, in your actual room find where those points are, press the controller up against them, and put those red balls there, and you press the button, and ta-da, you have, like, instant room scale alignment to, like, your actual physical space. Because um, otherwise it's quite hard to do. Um, especially, like, if you reconfigure your room scale, even if you try to align it in the editor, it'll be like the... So, yeah, that's, that's that. Um... If you're actually subscribers to my channel after <laughs> four years since the last thing I posted, thanks for sticking with it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to try and post more kind of Unreal VR stuff. If you're wondering what I've been doing for the past four years, uh, obviously it hasn't been 2.5D RPGs. Um, I probably won't be doing that in the near future either. Um, obviously there's been like lots of cool games which have done that kind of thing since my original 2.5 DRPG posts. And in the meantime, XNA has disappeared. Uh, but yeah, what I'm doing during my day job is I'm actually in the AAA game development industry now. And I am working at Rare as a technical artist on CFDs, which is absolutely awesome and amazing. And in fact, there is a video of me up on YouTube talking about clouds, right? Yeah, probably. So, yeah, um, if you're curious, go and watch that. Um, doing all kinds of cool, crazy things. But I don't really get to do much VR stuff as part of that whole thing. But I do do lots of Unreal stuff. Oops. I told you that was going to happen. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hopefully try and use my channel for some Unreal VR stuff. Because this is pretty awesome. And like, I've got VR fluid simulations because that, like, how cool is that? So yeah. So yeah, hopefully I'll, this will be downloadable sometime soon. Um, maybe even like as a project file, which you can pick up and tear apart. Um, if I do make that happen, I'll need to like actually clean it up and tidy up some of my blueprints so they're comprehensible and try and remember what I actually did back in March because some of the stuff I just plug the new VR stuff in and it kind of works but I'm not really sure how so yeah bye bye